Hi there, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing, and this video is about how to develop a marketing persona when you don't know where to start. Now you've probably heard it time and time again, you need to define your customer in order to know who to actually market to. And we talk about it here at Crazy Eye Marketing with the three Ps. And more than likely you've read a ton of articles and tutorials about how to actually develop a customer avatar and or marketing persona. And you've probably downloaded several templates as well. But the thing you're stuck on is how the heck do you start? Because maybe you don't have any real customers yet, so you can't just ask them who they are. You can't go to your Google Analytics or your social media accounts because, I mean, you just might not have enough customer data. And you know what, that's okay. That's what happens when you're starting out. You're not quite sure who to approach and how to approach them. But don't worry, we're gonna get you started in this video. Now the first thing you need to do is grab a marketing persona template. There's hundreds of them out there on the internet. They're all quite similar. If you don't have one already, you can download the one that you're looking at now on the screen at crazyourmarketing.com. And it's the one I'll be going through on this video. Now on this video, we're just gonna focus on the demographics and the hobby slash interests. Because once you get these down, the other things like goals and challenges and values and fears just come from thinking things through. So all you would have to do is put yourself in someone else's shoes and think through what their goals and challenges might be or their values and fears. Now if there's enough demand, I'll go back and I'll make a video about the goals and challenges and values and fears, but for this video, we're going with demographics, hobbies, and interests. So let's get into it. All you need to do is go to Facebook, and you'll wanna to go to your ads manager. Now you need to have a Facebook advertising account in order to access the ads manager. And to do that, just Google Facebook ads manager or Facebook advertising and sign up that way. And when you do that, you'll have access to the ads manager. It's all free, you don't have to start paying money or anything like that unless you actually host an ad. And then what you're gonna do is go to audience insights over here on the left hand side. And it asks us to choose an audience to start with. I go with everyone on Facebook. Now, Facebook's Audience Insights is incredibly powerful. It essentially aggregates all of the accounts on Facebook and puts them in front of you so you can use that information to your advantage. Like it breaks things down like demographics, page likes, location, activity, household and purchases, lifestyle options, relationship statuses, education levels, jobs. It has a bunch of stuff here. It is an incredibly powerful tool. And you can learn so much just by clicking around inside of Facebook's Audience Insights. Now for this example, I'm gonna pretend like I am an antiques dealer and that I own an e-commerce store. So I sell antiques, collectibles, hidden treasures, things like that. And I'm gonna be developing a marketing persona for my antiques store. And you can follow similar steps for your business. So here we go, first option is location. Now I'm gonna leave it selected as the United States because that's where most of my customers come from, but obviously if you're in a different country, go ahead and select a different country. Up next we have age and gender. And you know what, I'm gonna leave this wide open just like it is now. I'll show you why in just a second. Next we have interests. And for this I'm gonna select antiques. Now if you noticed, when I selected antiques for interests, this age and gender chart updated to reflect my changes. And as you can see, 80% of the people interested in antiques on Facebook are female. And so that's what I'm gonna roll with starting right off. So I'm gonna go back to my marketing persona template and update the gender. Go back to Facebook. And now we see various age ranges. And I'm just gonna select the biggest one, so between 45 and 50. And all you gotta do is click on it and Facebook will automatically adjust to those settings. So I'm gonna go back to my marketing persona template and age is between 45 and 54, so I'm just gonna go with age of 50. All right, gonna go back to Facebook and we're gonna scroll down a little bit. You see there's some lifestyle information right here, but we're not gonna mess with that at this point. It's just good to know. I mean, you can take note of it, but we're gonna come down here to relationship status and education level. We're gonna go with married because it's the biggest one, and then we're going to select 
college in regards to education level and we're going to go update our marketing persona template college married all right we're moving along this demographics section now let's scroll on down and we have job titles. So likely industries will people work based on self-reported data on Facebook. So given the fact that we've chosen female aged 45 to 54, that is married, been college educated, they're more likely to be a nurse or a healthcare slash medical professional or legal. These are common job titles that fit our selected demographics thus far. So we're not gonna actually click any options right now because it'll narrow our market too much and we won't be able to get any more information. But it's good to take note of and we can even apply it to our marketing persona template. So nurse, load up our persona, nurse. And we're back on Facebook. Let's head over to the household section right up here at the top. And right here we see our household income. Now it's not our individual's income, it's the whole household. And since, and since we've selected someone who's married, there's probably multiple people living in the house. But you have an idea of how much money that household brings in. And the majority that fit our selected demographics thus far is between 50 and 75,000. So we're gonna go to our marketing persona template and we're gonna update the salary section. We'll split the difference at 65K, and we can also update location because we selected that right off the bat, so United States. And there we go, we got our demographic section filled out and we picked out a job for our customer avatar. We'll go back to Facebook and we're gonna focus on some hobbies and interests. To do that, all you wanna do is go to the page likes section of Audience Insights, and now we can see exactly what their interests and hobbies are because it's all listed right here. So we know in regards to home and garden, their favorite companies or businesses are the Vintage Farmhouse, Decor Steels, Antique Farmhouse, My Repurposed Life. So, I mean, we can go and check out these other pages and see what they post about and learn a little more about our customers this way. We also know where they go for shopping and retail, health and beauty, their favorite companies, home decor, kitchen, cooking, clothing, etc. You can even hit see all and it gives us some more options. So we know one of their favorite websites is the Mint Julep Boutique and we can see what that business is all about. And we can also see their affinity for what they actually like. For example, they enjoy home goods. They're 4.8 times more likely to like the home goods Facebook page than anyone else on Facebook. They enjoy Pioneer Woman, Paula Dean. You can hit the see more and get some more ideas of what our customer is interested in and their hobbies. So let's pick a few real quick. So my repurposed life. So they're into repurposing, I would imagine. So we can open up our marketing persona template and we'll go with hobby repurposing. There we go. Go back to Facebook. We know that they're also interested in HGTV, which is a home repairs network if you weren't a fit familiar with it. So interests, HGTV, so we know they're uh oh, H go on back to Facebook. We know that they're interested in the Pioneer Woman, which is very similar to my wife, actually. So interested in Pioneer Woman. Another hobby. We got Crock-Pot Girl here. So another hobby they may have is Crock-Potting. Now let's go ahead and name our customer. Give her a name, Megan. And let's throw in a picture of her. And there we go. We've now started on the development of our marketing persona or our customer avatar. We gave her a name, which is Megan, and a job as a nurse. We haven't done anything with company size or role yet, but that's okay. We're just getting started here. We brought in a picture of our customer. We've filled out our demographics. We know she's about 50 years old, female, salary 65,000, located in the United States, college educated, and she's married. Hobbies and interests include repurposing, crock potting, HGTV, and Pioneer Woman. 
And now we can start putting ourselves in this individual shoes, in Megan's shoes, and walking through some of the goals and challenges, values and fears she may have, and the problems that she may have, and how our business can solve those problems for Megan. So yeah, using Facebook's audience insights, you're able to gain a ton of information about your potential customers. And of course, you will have to put some more thought into it. However, it's gonna get you started down the right path. And this pretty much concludes the video. If you would like a part two, leave a comment down below so I know that you've enjoyed this and found it helpful. I'll talk to you later. Nathan, out.